Hey guys, Chef Jason, your ace hardware grilling expert. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make very simple, delicious, and easy, hot and fast pulled pork on your Weber kettle. But I have a twist, so before uh, we get into that, let's uh, dive in and talk a little bit about ingredients, share my secret twist, then we'll get the grill fired up. Let's get cooking. Let's talk a little bit about today's ingredients because they're simple, they're easy, but we are gonna have some amazing flavor. We're starting off with three pounds of the pork shoulder, boneless country style ribs. Beautiful, look at those, well marbled, lots of fat, that is going to make us happy. We have a cup of cola, so pick your favorite cola, it's gonna give us some moisture. And then, hey, we have a brand new line of Ace exclusive rubs, and today we're gonna be featuring two of those. We've got the uh, That's Poppin' Rub and our Kablamo Hot and Spicy barbecue sauce. So those two together are going to make an absolutely epic pulled pork. Let's head out and get the grill fired up. Get back in here, do a little bit of prep. Now, one of my favorite ways to start charcoal on my kettle is using a chimney. So we made sure the kettle was all nice and clean and all the ash was gone. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill the uh, chimney up with our charcoal briquettes. And like I always say, the amount of briquettes you add will determine kind of how much uh, cook time you need. So we'll go ahead and add the briquettes, get those all set. Now we're gonna show you how we add my fire starter cube and get this up and running. We added one of our lighter cubes into the kettle. I made sure I put it in a spot where it would stay supported nicely. We'll go ahead and start it, and now we will add our chimney to get things up and running. While the grill's heating up, time to do a little prep. Now, I uh, have the pork already set. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. I just need a little bit of a binder. So what I'm gonna do is kind of get that all over the place here and roll that around. I'm using some parchment paper to help keep my kitchen counter a little cleaner, right? And we'll get all that set and ready to go. Now, I took the cap off the rub today because I'm getting in there and I wanna get some of that beautiful that's poppin' savory rub on there. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all seasoned up and ready to go. You know what we always say too, use season as light or as heavy as you want. I love this rub, it gives a great like savory finish. It's gonna be perfect with that sweet heat from the uh, Kablamo barbecue sauce as well. So we'll get these guys all seasoned up. We, uh, I think we're good to go, right? We're set. So let's let these guys sit now while the uh, grill gets up to temp. Well, here we are right at 20 minutes. You can see the flames ripping off the top of that chimney. So carefully, we're gonna go ahead now and pour that in. Now that we have the charcoal poured, what I'm gonna do is, using a pair of tongs, I'm gonna move these briquettes over to this side, creating kind of a, a direct side, if you will, and an indirect side, so a little bit of that dual zone. Now, we'll go ahead and put on our cooking grate, and then we'll go ahead and close the top, and we're going to adjust the uh, dampener now and get into that 400 degrees. First thing we're gonna do is get these country-style ribs on here, start getting a little bit of char. Now, we're gonna be actively cooking, so we're gonna leave the lid open while we rotate these from side to side because we want to get some char all on here to really get that charcoal flavor started and get this pork on its way. Let's go ahead and give these guys a flip. Look at that. We're starting to get some char and some sear. That is perfect. Now, we'll keep doing that until all sides are done and ready to go. We've got our sear on all sides. Let's go ahead and pull these guys off. We're going to head back in the kitchen, but before we go, we're going to close the lid again and uh, keep that temperature dialed in right at 400 degrees. We are back in the kitchen. It is time now to uh, add our pork into the uh, foil pouches we're gonna make. So I'm gonna take two of the pieces of pork and then what I'm gonna do is, boom, kablamo. I'm gonna hit some of that sauce over the top just enough to add some sweet heat to it. Not so much yet, don't worry, we'll finish a little bit more later. I'm gonna hit it off with a little top of the uh, savory rub, that's right, that's popping for sure. And then I'm gonna add about a half of cup of cola in here just like so, and now I'm basically gonna make a pouch. So I'm gonna fold this up, careful not to spill all my uh, soda out, and we'll fold that pouch in like so, but I have a double layer because I like a double layer. Then we'll fold this guy up like that. Tell you what, I can't wrap Christmas presents to save my life, but that pouch is done. Now, this is ready to put back on the grill, but first we have to finish round number two. 
Okay, we have pouch number one added. We will go ahead and add pouch number two. We are cooking indirect now. We've got the hot side here, the indirect side there. We are gonna cover the uh, Weber kettle and we will not even come and check on this for an hour. So we'll cover it up, we'll see you in an hour. Okay, here we are right at the one hour mark. Let's take a little sneak peek, see where we're at. Is it uh, time to shred or do we need a little bit longer? Looks like we need a little bit longer. So we'll wrap it back up. We're gonna go for another half hour at 400 degrees. We'll come back and check it then. Hour and a half check-in, not quite there. We're gonna go ahead and let it go now for another half hour. Well, here we are right after two hours and 15 minutes. Look at that, it is falling apart, shredding nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this now. We're gonna let it rest in the kitchen for about 10 minutes before we uh, give it its final shred. So we'll go ahead and get our pork added into the pan and we'll save those juices, but look at this. Talk about quick and easy. That shreds up super, super nice to make some simple, delicious, fast. That's right, hot and fast pulled pork. Then after we get it shredded, we finished it off with a little bit of that kablamo, right like that. Look at that, check this out. So good, so delicious, easy, fast, tasty pulled pork. Well, there you have it, kablamo. In a short amount of time, two hours and 15 minutes, we have some amazing hot and fast pulled pork. Super, super awesome. Now the question is, am I making pulled pork sandwiches or am I making Taco Tuesday? Ah, either way, it doesn't matter. Now stay tuned because coming up, I've got an amazing pork chop video on your Weber kettle to help get you uh, kettling a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'll eat this piece right here.